Hello and welcome to Be Open here at Iowa. We are starting a sunset race here. About uh, about that time in the sim, I guess. Sun's going down, and uh, we're heading up for qualifying on our OSR setup. And boy, this thing wants to kill you on cold tires. So let's hope that I don't completely blow this and spin. I'm trying to get a good lap. All right, all right, so far so good. All right, I'll take that. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be at the front or anything, but uh, point three is about where I have been. So I will absolutely take that. Oh, and then got the wall, dang it. All right, we'll practice a uh, pit stop then here in a moment. Uh, just wanted to see if I could get any more out of it, but I don't think there was much more to get. I think that was basically tied by all-time best lap. So, that's okay. We didn't get our, get our, give ourselves an unnecessary incident or anything. That was a zero X. Instead, we will take this time get a feel for the pit entry because it is pretty tough here that pit entry. A very, very sharp turn. And I uh, gotta go all the way down to 40, which I don't think I did there. I don't think I want to cut it that close anyway. So. Right now we are at point three and in third place qualifying. At the moment. We're gonna switch on over to our OSR race setup. Here in a moment. And then adjust some things to how I like them. 12 to 1. And uh, we'll do like 62 front right guess. I don't want to get too crazy with that. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna try running the bottom. You know, backing up the corners enough to uh, run the bottom in 1 and 2, of course. Because there's those huge bumps in 1 and 2. You just can't run the high side over there. But I think in 3 and 4, I'm going to try the bottom there as well. Um, although I think the top you could probably do something with and I might have to migrate there later depending on how the handling changes but who knows once I get out there maybe I'll feel something different maybe I'll see that everybody else is running up there and it becomes clear that it's the place you want to be so I, I can change my mind I reserve the right <laughs> to change my mind but I think uh, bottom is where I'm going to want to be we also have you know in addition to a bunch of names we've uh, at least I've started to recognize over time. We've also got Hermie Sadler in here. Always cool to be in a race with him. Or any former NASCAR driver. And right now we are starting P4. I would really rather not start on the outside. I don't think it'd be too bad. But I'd rather start on the inside so I can get started on running the bottom like I want. And also... Uh, don't really want to be up top on the top side for one and two for sure. We'd definitely run middle if we had to. I'd rather just uh, stay away from that whole top side of the track. And uh, Iowa Mountain up there. For those bumps, so. Very close times around us. Only two thousandths off for the number four behind us. Qualifying setup did uh, did its job, it seems. So, I've been pretty happy with the qualifying setups from OSR lately. I feel like they've, uh, you know, ever since they started doing those more regularly, I think they've been doing a pretty great job. So, that's, that's pretty cool. Last week I got a, uh, while running the OSR for trucks at Charlotte, I uh, got a poll for one of them, which was pretty cool. I don't think it was a very high strength of field, that one, but it's still, you got to be pretty fast. I mean, there's guys that were about my eye rating in there. I was able to finish, or, you know, qualify ahead of those guys. So these uh, the setups have been pretty pretty darn good. I'm happy with them. It is a 3.0k strength of field in this one. And we're the number six. 
So we'll see uh, if we can keep it up around P4, or if we'll fall back real bad. Hopefully not. I'm going to try to keep this thing in one piece. Oops. Hold on a second. There we go. Making sure this uh, window is the one I'm, I have opened. Otherwise, like, the tab key doesn't work and stuff. So we ended up P4. We'll just have to try to make sure we run that middle line into turn one and two. Or maybe we'll be clear by the time we get there. Who knows? <laughs> I do know, like I said in qualifying, this thing is deathly loose on cold tires. It will just completely slip out from under you if you're not careful. I'm going to have to definitely keep that in mind. We got some really fast guys behind me too, which makes me a little nervous. Because I feel like they're going to want to get by real quick. Might get sketchy the first couple of laps. But hopefully we get some green runs. And uh, don't have to do a bunch of restarts where things get scary. Follow car number zero five. Line up on the outside. The road is closed. Right. Sure, there's no one on my inside. Looks like a sec gear start to me. How many laps of fuel we got? 100? Maybe we save a little bit. I don't know if we get a couple of immediate cautions or something. You never know. Obviously, 30 laps is a whole lot of fuel to save, but I don't think it'll hurt. Put the clutch in while we're just pacing around here. Got a bunch of black race cars around us. Pure black 15 up there, and then the 5. I think he's got anything on that thing. I wonder if they're, uh, I don't know if that's coincidence or if those guys are like on a team or something. 22 on our inside. He had a really good lap. Look at that. The 22 over there. Best of luck to him. Well, he can get himself a good finish too. Finishing third as the 22 would be quite the gain. He would gain, according to uh, Race Labs, I'm looking at right now, 108 high rating if he were able to finish there. So. And actually, that might be counting him fourth right now. really far back for some reason. I mean, if he wants to give me all that room, that's, that's cool with me. I feel like there was like a slight pause before the leaders started going there. That was kind of weird. The leader just self-spun. Wow. Okay, that's... What did I tell you about these cold tires, man? <laughs> there had to be a couple people caught up in that, right? The leader spinning out right in front of the whole field? Yikes. Pit road is now open. I'm glad we were on the outside there. You know, at the end of the day, the P4 starting spot kind of saved us, didn't it? Because otherwise I would have been right behind that guy. In that same lane. Yikes. I was like that, though. It can be so snappy on exit. It can grab you before you're ready. So that's unfortunate for him. I, I know if that happened to me, I'd be so embarrassed and feel so bad. But it happens. It definitely happens. <laughs> well, we're going to have to get a good jump on the outside this time. After all that went down.
wonder if anybody did get caught up in that. Maybe uh, he was able to keep it down on the bottom and maybe no one got all caught up in it. So that's talking about with the fuel, though. You never know. Get a, just a handful of uh, guys spinning it on cold tires. You'd have to get a lot of them, I guess, but if you get enough, I'd be surprised how long you can make it. But that's probably just silly. We're under caution. Pits closed. I'm probably full of nonsense. I'm going to do it anyway. So that was a good visual reminder to myself. Be careful on cold tires. Great reminder. We'll have the, let's see. Number three lining up behind us. Again, I'm sure they're going to be wanting to go places. I just hope they are able to do it safely. Be sure to hold my line if they're trying to fly by. One left to green. Line up on the okay, outside. Get Get ready to green. At the end of this lap. Second gear start seemed to work just fine for me. So we'll go ahead and do that again. It's really revving it up on the inside. Sounds like he's trying to do first gear. <laughs> Maybe he's just going to start in neutral, I don't know. The leader has control. Maintain the pace speed. That's obnoxious. Pushing it too hard. Let them get by. I really don't want to be side by side for too long. Is that blinking in and out? Seems like guys are taking it easy enough. Ready to go long good run. It's good news. Every car, uh, all it, you know, every car is like bouncing all over the place. Yeah, if you see everyone doing it, it's on your end. Outside. You're yeah. out. That lap time was 24.0. All right, let's get some laps in. Sounds good to me. Mike, am I blanket? Oh, you look fine. Before. Looks like guys have an internet issues, it sounds like. Or at least with their end. Three happened to ask about it. He's gonna get a run, gonna just let him go. Inside. Stay high. 
clear inside. E5, your lap time was at 24.3. It's a little weird the guy behind was going to send it on the bottom, so I kind of just took middle lane there. Rotation on the throttle. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. You have a big gap between 6th and 7th. That's interesting. I don't feel like I'm going fast at all right now. Maybe those guys know what's up and are actually saving much better. Hopefully I'm not killing this thing. Nice and calm. I am definitely okay with that. So bumpy in one and two, even on the bottom. Where it's supposed to be better. Assume if the guy behind wants by, he'll set up a pass. It's pretty close back there, so you could see that coming before too long. That last lap was at 24.2. Still feeling good, though it is still pretty early. Whoa, my screen just flashed. That was weird. That came through on the recording, if that was just me. Apparently, uh, I'm getting the weird issues too now. <laughs> Other people are getting. I'm sure it's not related at all. Still feeling good though. Got a nice gap between 6th and 7th still. They're not. Catching up fast all of a sudden or anything. Back for the moment, kind of gaining on the two, though he might have just backed it off a bit. Running top five, can't complain about that. Drove three and four just a bit there. He was back. I think he was maybe just backing it down for a lap or two. So what time are we going to come into pit? 65 would be right down the middle of 130, but we did get that early caution. Yeah, good idea. Hit the apron. That's what I get for thinking about strategy instead of racing. So 
We have the caution, so 65 no longer exactly the wiggle. So we're gonna go around, that's fine. Take the high line for one corner. Go. He's probably got better tires than I do. History shows that I am not great with tires. So no harm, just letting them on, on through. I guess we'll pit about 67 then. Sounds about right. Since we had a couple of caution laps, we can still do a little bit of an undercut maybe. I always like the undercut. Especially at a place where you can maybe defend pretty decently by running the high side like 3 and 4. Just some thoughts. Someone that uh, has trouble saving tires, you would think. Maybe don't undercut and then be dead by the end of the race, but... <laughs> oh well. Might be coming back to us, all of a sudden. I think we're all of a sudden catching the two again. Or it could just be the draft. I could get too. You've just done it, 24.5. Right, still feels good. That number one's on its way, though. Two kind of went up a lane for three and four there. I don't know if that was intentional or not. He did it. Or if he's getting some uh, different handling works going on. P6. We're just going to keep running this bottom line. Uh, stick with it. I think it's been doing a good job for us so far. Really wants to uh, bounce up in 1 and 2. So... Gotta kind of stay off the throttle for longer than you might expect. Or else it hits those bumps and just sends you up the track. We started kind of coming back on the two for a second. It kind of went back to normal. One gets here, we'll let him on by. Obviously, he's really fast. Probably saved the tires really well early. You've just done it. 24.7. Oh, those bumps are just killer. Uh-oh. Something going on up there. Oh, I looked at the freaking what was happening up there and I hit the wall. Ugh. That was a hard hit, too. Why'd I have to go and do that? I was freaking looking at the guy that was crashing and I wasn't paying attention to where I was in relation to the wall. Hmm. I guess we'll be able to maybe get it fixed, or at least evaluate the damage now, but that's not what I wanted. That was a hard hit, too. I hope it's not really bad. Alright. We'll get tires and fuel. We should be able to make it to the end now. So unfortunately, no green flag pit stops to be had. Uh, come up as close as you can. 
I feel a little bit on the move. I'd go ahead and beat it out. How much damage do we fix if we have a ton? It's a good question. I don't want to lose all my track position, but I'm going to do that anyway if my damage holds me back. The pit box team, 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. 37.5. 88.90, that's not too bad. I think we just gotta go. Get things sorted here. We're at 22 to get going. Uh, printing this 1.6 gallons is what we need. 22 had a bad stop. He must have slid b past his box or something because he went from 3rd to 7th or 6th or wherever he is. We'll find out here in a moment. It hadn't all been organized yet. Yeah, 6th. No, I'm 6th. He's 5th. Okay. I hope that damage doesn't hurt me. Do. Yeah. Hey, Josh, you haven't seen who that was. That was great. So I thought we had about 100 laps of uh, fuel. But filling it up, it said only about 96. So it might be closer than I think. Point four. I feel like you could save pretty well here, though, if you needed to. And a couple more pace laps to do here. You know, caution laps. One point two gallons. I'm worried about what that damage is going to do to me. We got like one second of it fixed while doing tires and fuel. I'm surprised how little the tires actually wore. I mean, I guess we only did about 30 laps. But I did think it was going to be more than that. Yellow, pits are open. Man, I hate that I hit the wall again. It's just like freaking trucking, I guess. Gotta put a stop to that. One to go. Not Take a good habit line. to be getting into. Trying to get a good jump. I've seen a lot of people do first gear, I think. Maybe it is first gear. I don't know. It seemed like it was so close to the limiter. Nah, I guess, I guess first gear is the way to go. All right. Well, now I know, I guess. Get ready, going green. I swear when I first checked. It really seemed like it wasn't the way. Still got a bad start.
you know. One's got damage. I wonder how that happened. Did he have that before? I don't know. He must have. Seems like the damage isn't hurting us very much. That's good. Right in front of me. Just want to get around him. I know he's probably doing exactly what he needs to do and saving, but I've just. I don't think I'm going to be able to save the tires as well as he is anyway. I'll just go slow and kill the tires, so I'm just going to overtake. I know a lot of times at Iowa, the end of runs, it's uh, super tough to make a pass. I figure I can get it done now, maybe. Fifteen's coming back. Self-spinning on the on the start. He's made his way back forward. It looks like. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. That car holding onto our outside for some reason. Oh, You've just done a twenty-four point two. Thank you, sir. Going. Not just get taken three wide by the car. Thanks for the room, 12. Well, he's going to cause an accident as he falls through the field. That's pretty obvious. Up lap time was 24.3. God, it's bumps, man. Getting held up behind me back there. Pretty bad. Car outside. Clear. Okay, Colton. The next car is Bruno. Okay. 
Car I'm just going to take it down low. Clear. Inside. Stay high with the car. Take a high line this time. Still there. Clear. Car inside. Still there. Inside. Clear. I think the higher line's coming in, maybe. Maybe it was always there and no one's doing it because it's just bad on the tires. This car is so tight though. I don't know if it's the damage I did to it or I'm just overdriving now or what. Still P6 though, not bad. I think it's probably just me driving poorly. I don't think the damage is doing much to hurt. I just, I can never seem to hit those bumps very well in 1 and 2. They're just always just ruining my corner. Number 1 coming up on us now. Oh my god, these bombs! Car inside. Keep high. Still there, inside. Clear. Clear me. I just feel like I stink, man. I feel like I have any speed. Zero point eight gallons fuel. It says we should definitely be okay to make it to the end, even without really trying. We're gonna be on the gas splash as the uh, tires fall off anyway. Smoke up there. Not sure what that's about. Catching up. Like I'm sitting still. Your last lap time was at twenty four point seven. I think I was just not getting on the brakes enough, maybe? In one and two. Getting it turned down at the bottom? I don't know. I think I did it in three and four. Okay, we'll have to ease it off a little bit more, I think. 
Okay, Colton, we're halfway through. Should be about 62 laps of fuel left. Your last lap time was at 24.7. 0 0.7 gallons. Keep checking in on that fuel every once in a while, see how it's doing. Stop is turning. I think I might have to go to the high side in three and four now. We're gonna try it this next lap. It's probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It'll be faster, I think, but we'll see how long it actually. I prefer running the high line anyway, it's more fun. You've just done a twenty four point seven. As much as I feel like I've fallen, we're still running ninth. This isn't terrible at all. Top 10 would be just fine. Especially, uh, that's the number 6. Pretty decent strength to feel here, so. That'll be alright. Lots of people getting spread apart here. Lots of room between just about everybody, it feels like. Except I think behind us there's a little cluster back there. I'm thinking, uh, this is just operator error though. I don't think it's even the car's bad or setup's not keeping up. I think I just, uh, not doing a very good job. Maybe not so great at this combo. And that's okay. Sometimes that's just the way it be. <laughs> Zero point six needed now. That's with some of the buffer I put in, just in case of like green white checkers and stuff. If we already get a caution, at this point, obviously we come in and get tires and fuel. Anyway, contact going on up there. I think that was maybe a lap car getting in somebody's way. Excuse me. seen Hermes Sadler. I wonder where he's running. Hopefully he didn't get caught in any of the wrecks. Oh. Well, that lap car is a problem. Big wreck. What? What are you doing, dude? At first I saw just two people. I don't know. We think that's Norton yeah. and Dang. Cooper have binned it. Brandon, good luck, man. That dude's nuts. Brandon, I'm saying the same shit. Simon, you got broke while you know I got I got broke with that one by you, so you wanna go on? No, 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 no. Oh the twenty seven was you the, the corner and just 
run me up to try three times, so I had enough. Yeah, no, you, I don't think anyone's going to agree with you on that one. The way you've been racing other people, you're blocking people, you're blocking people, you're ripping their nose off. Ten follows. The leader is Bro, you're fucking clueless, just like that Charlotte. Hit speed limit. All right, Colton. Yeah, we're into trouble with that 28 before. I don't know why. I'm like, talking now, but I don't know what happened. It was definitely that lap car, I think. I'm just not going to be raised up the track. Logan, well, you're not passing any people. People are laying by to just keep cutting their nose off. I'm not going to let you just go in the corner. All the way can pass this run through me. Had enough at that point. Right here. Cool, just miss your box. Whoever did that thinks the 1640 required repair. Right. Definitely got to do better on the tires this time. I was yeah, pretty bad we about it. Hey, Tony, you have no room to talk, dude. You were driving all over the place, man, so I don't hear anything from you. As far as that rag, 12, you didn't come up. So. That's not real. Cool. He doesn't want to hear it from other people. Please. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. And then whoever just intentionally wrecked somebody else in the middle of the backstretch, that is stupid. That honestly should be reported. I guess we'll have to see what exactly yeah, happened later. Awesome. 22 Bro, sped. So that means you get to kill him? Like, come on now. Make some common sense here. Sounds like there was some intentional exactly wrecking. Like you're 12 years old on a simulator, bro. And you're, you sound like you're 50. <laughs> Are you talking to me? He said that's the one to kill him, man. I'm the Weenie High General. I'm talking to the Weenie High General next door. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you talking to the 13th part? All right, ladies. I'm down. Jacob. Jacob. He is saying, Tommy, do me. Tommy, it's best you stay out of it, buddy. Just saying, it is that you stay out of it because I don't want to hear you right now. Wow, all these guys know and hate I'm each other. I'm trying to help you understand the reading context. He's saying dude kill him, not he kill dude because he killed him. I'm just trying to help you. There were two cars in front of me that wrecked, and I think they did, one of them did it on purpose, and that's what killed me. I couldn't get stopped, they ran right into me. It's sounding like so the lap car took out the 28, maybe, and then the 28 retaliated and caused a bigger wreck. That's my guess at this point, as to what so happened. That's satisfying. Steve was just trying to explain to you what was going on. Steve wouldn't intentionally wreck anybody. Steve is the Mr. Rogers of iRacer. <laughs> Mr. Rogers of iRacer. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, between you and Yogi, you guys are like the Mr. Rogers man. Daddy, chill. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So we are sixth place. Hey, what happened? Did I uh, travel across your nose or something? My bad. My bad, 13. I was looking at the wrong guy, so. Well, that's got interesting, I guess. <laughs> still a decently long run to the end. So we're still going to have to be careful. I got to figure out one and two, though. I just I cannot figure it out. We're just bouncing all over the place over the bumps. There was, like, there was a lot of good racing between me, 20, and I think two other guys. And the 28 just kept like diving in and like horses up the track. I mean, I just kept getting loose. I think I burned my right rear end. Aw, what we doing? Like 27 said today he wanted to be stupid. And, uh, wreck the guy back across the track, you know. That kind of took me out of it. Did I know where to go? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. This is, uh, this is devolving, isn't it? I hope the cars don't start jumping all over the place. If it happens, John, just close the browser or something. Maybe you have something connected to the internet. It might help. Just maybe. Really, John? So Mr. Roger? <laughs> Steve, I have lost how many, how many times I've wrecked you off of me being stupid, and you've never yelled at me.
Well, let's uh, hope the wrecking is over. Got about 50 laps here to do. <laughs> Try to be better on the tires this time. Backing down into turn one, I think it's going to be big. Uh, not a great start by the top row. Six eight high. Still there. Every time there's an accident and one of those big cracks on in it. Stay high. Okay, Colton. The next car is cross it. Stay high for the car on the low side. Appreciate that from the guy uh, down low there. Just uh, get single file. It's a good move, I think, so we can just get single file and get things uh, evened out. That was actually working my way up through the field. Take it easy. I saw that, Herman. I just cannot these bumps, man. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Coming around. Still inside. Yeah, that was weird. Still there at bottom. Clear. You gotta pinch into the wall. I gotta do this middle line or something. It's bumps. We'll try to file in behind him then. Gives us the thanks. V6. I gotta figure out how to keep this thing up here the whole run. Jesus. Is nobody else getting the bumps that bad? I don't know. It can't just be me, and I, I swear it wasn't happening that bad early either. Almost like I bent something when I hit the wall, and now that's dragging across the ground. I don't think that's what's happening. That's what it feels like. Dragging the muffler. <laughs> Maybe I just gotta drive through the bumps and trust that it's gonna stick. I don't know. That sounds like a bad idea. That sounds like how to hit the wall again. was better that time. Maybe you gotta enter kind of like the middle and then kind of turn down from there. Maybe that'll serve me better. So like enter up here maybe and now cut down. Oh you know what? That feels much better. I don't know if that's fast. It doesn't look like it, but at least I'm not like falling apart on those bumps. I feel like I could add some more tape to this thing too. I might want to do that. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. If we get the chance, of course, but I don't feel like we're running very hot. And some extra turn wouldn't be so bad. Wasn't very good. Bumps got me that time. Pull like two tenths too is the penalty for it.
18's coming up on us fast. 18, and his name is Bobby. It's not Levante, I guess. <laughs> He's ready to come past me, I guess. That was In my that slow was self, two. who can't figure out one and two. They're uh, fighting for some positions up there, it looks like. See some serious movement. I've got a ways to go. Look at that 27 again, I think, being a bit of a trouble lap car. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, let me, let me, uh, let me say I don't know for sure what happened. It's pretty bad, though. The car inside clear. Can't be doing that. I don't even know how you hit the wall on a straightaway like that, but... Got a lot better to run than I thought you So that's another way to lose about a tenth. Two got into the floor a little bit, I think. Brought him back to us a little. I'm going to avoid going to the top this time. I think bottom is going to be better on tire. It'll probably let us go fast for about a lap or two, and then it'll probably kill the right front. So we'll keep it in the back of a, in the back pocket just in case. But oh, there's a, something about the water temperature. First time I've heard that, so maybe I don't want to add more tape. Maybe it does build up over time. If we get a caution now, it'd be a okay, shorter run. We got time. Right. Oh, we That'll be about the same. And another car. Hmm. Like one percent of tape. <laughs> Why not? All right, Colton. Your engine temperature's looking better now. Two, two sets of tires left. Starting to get low, but definitely got to take them again here. At least we can fix a tiny bit of damage every time we do this, too. Go. Stopping. Watch your speed. You've got loads of fuel. All right, let's not slide past the box this time. Pit box team, 10. It's kind of tough because we're on a, a turn. Five. Oh, pitting. Three, two, one. Right here. 92, 94. All right, still on that right front, but I'm trying. I don't know, man. Maybe the 1% tape will help. Move it, move it. Be mindful. You only have one set of tires remaining. They want you in single I think we all came out in about the same spot. You know what I should be doing is adding more fuel to keep this thing turning better. I wish auto fuel would stop. I'm used to it automatically putting fuel in by default. Four course yellow, it's open. More fuel would make it heavier and 
potentially looser, which is something I would like from the car right now. So it will be seventh. Hey, Robin. Left sides really aren't getting worn much. I hope it goes green to the end, though. I really don't want to start getting into green-white checkers and all these sprints to the finish where everyone's going to start getting wrecked. Not really something I'm interested in. I think we might just kind of go this run. Not real fast, but like take the high side three and four maybe at this point in the race. But still back it down pretty good in one and two. I don't know, man. It's tough to say. So we'll be starting behind the four of well, the inside. Last time the outside got a not so great jump. So hopefully the inside will get a good jump this time. Comparatively as well. One to go. Next time by. Okay, Line up on the inside. Race to resume at the end of this lap. Hmm. Be 24 to go. Too much longer in this thing. Sun's going down. What if the track temperatures are getting cooler? Sun's still out though. Going green. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. It's all right. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there. Still oh there. my gosh. Stuff's happening up there. Oh my god, are you serious? Pit Road is closed right now. Half up, 11. Car. We think that's Cox. Immediate caution again. Somebody go around? Left up two. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. So I think that uh, eight like no might have taken no two tires. He's looking off the pace. Sorry, I can't read off that. Left up two. Carbide. Nah, two cars involved. Someone had another car on their hood. <laughs> They're having pretty big racks back there, apparently. So, same spot for us on the next restart. Though the guys ahead have kind of shuffled themselves up. The guy behind me is trying to hit me. Four course yellow. Pits are open. <laughs> That's about. I'm not doing it on purpose, but he's cutting it way too close for my comfort. Yeah, the car's on top of me. I'm too terrible. 
Mr. Mr. Rogers is coming back out on the track. You got that t-shirt on? I got my cat t-shirt on. <laughs> got to have a weird red spider mask. And you got to have a puppet. Cast 12. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Well, we'll try it again. We got a good jump that time. And things were getting kind of scary, so I was doing a lot of lifting off. And being very cautious. Let us twelve. Got the position when the yellow flag came out. No, I'm sorry. So Josh, I used to uh, get mad at people on here, and I mean I would explore, but I figured out the neighborhood and it didn't do them good because no one cared. I still yell at people. Every now and again, all left front loop, but I don't do it much anymore at all. It ain't worth it. Man, these cautions yeah, are way too long. I feel like that slide, should be too slide. green. Don't worry about it. Get out. Go do something else. I just have really got kicked back on here, and I found that I do so much better instead of being all tight and high rate. I honestly just, I like starting from the back, because I like trying to move through the cars. Uh, there's a different line and there's a lot of the place, and that's more fun to me than, than the hard racing up front. That's where I've been starting now to play. I've been doing a lot of race in the back, and I like it. Because I can control my car. I'm not in a bunch of cars where they're pushing me in spots I don't want to be in or making me turn in tight areas that I don't want to. And I save a lot of my car that way. I feel like it helps with like rec recognition as well. Just kind of listening to this conversation, like, nothing else to do right now. Happens just off of the way no the reason to even like fuel. save fuel or anything. We got one set of tires left, so exactly. if we get a green light check or something, we can use it then. But man, would like to get this one over with. Too many cautions. Is probably the second most fun thing to do. Sun's gonna go down by the time this race is over. In the game. But anyway, thanks for the Mr. Rogers. No, oh, man. <laughs> no problem to see you, see you, man. I think we all went to A. I don't ever race that anymore. That's the thing with the next gen. Oh, that's the thing with the next gen. Finally, we're going to be one to green here in a moment. I tell you that one. <laughs> I'll have to make sure I do the bookmarks so, on this video. This so people have to wait. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen um um Mr. Lucky Dog. Uh, he used to do Mr. Lucky Dog. Mr. Lucky Dog. Mr. Lucky Dog. What was he doing? I haven't seen him at all. Josh Matter? No, me and him don't. We don't get along. Uh, no, he 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 does announcers. I think he did Isco. He was an announcer for Isco for a little bit. Oh, I don't know if you're talking about the same one that I know, but this guy was an announcer and a half. He had a voice that just was so crystal clear, it was unbelievable. Well, we'll do second gear start yeah, again, metal, just because it seemed to work fine right. last time. I don't want to put the business out there, I'm put it that way. Hopefully we'll get a good view of the leader. Oh, okay, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while, I hope he's with him. My favorite announcer is right behind me.
Oh my yeah, god, I'm come on! Cautions are too long for this. Brandon, was that right in front of you? John, if you're gonna pour up like that, you gotta You're ruining be... this race, man. You gotta get more more than that, dude. I cannot believe I made it through that. We're under caution. More people getting taken I'm out. Two cars sideways in front of me. This is how like, long you should be at home. Like, I didn't mean to bounce you, but I just... I, I was on, I left the gas, but it was just too late. So I, didn't, I didn't mean to get it back yet. The Pete Road is now open. Sound like those guys got together a little bit. And the death of caution. Uh, eight. Good brain, I see. Yeah, there's no way they're pitting. We haven't done any green laps. What the hell happened? All I saw was the car sideways in front of the car in front of me, and that guy hit the brake. 22. I gasped through that shit. That's crazy. Uh, make sure to skip ahead if you'd like. I'm telling you, 22 is a bad number, guys. Wish I could. Race, somebody yells at the 22, or they wreck somebody, or the guy who's the 22 gets wrecked. I'm sick of being in Iowa right now. <laughs> Fun track, but I'd like to race on it. I, I don't know if I'm going to race. I just know what I race. Okay. I always know it's 22. I had a good rebound, too. That's fucking sick. What are we gonna have left to do after this one? I think Brandy takes some bad damage. She's some pits. Right. Once we reach the line here, it's just gonna be 13 yeah, to go. Uh, and what, like 11 to go? I had zero X till then. Do you know yeah, if he made contact in the front end? That other guy is going out right next to you. Yeah. That's not even two green. Oh my god. I am gonna rot away in this chair. <laughs> I'm telling you, you could I swear you could remove one lap from these caution laps and be just fine. So when you guys enter to the bottom. You guys normally yeah, just hold the gap so you get somebody? Well, the fact that I've got to have you, John. Full course yellow, pits are open. Oh, boy. Hey, Army Sadler back in 10th. He's having a good run. Please, 2 to green. You can't tell me it's not 2 to green at this point, right? <laughs> I will go home. Okay, <laughs> 2 to green. At well, least it's 2 to green now. now. We on the outside this time. We did take, we did uh, gain one spot from the guy that was on two tires or whatever it was. I think I'd rather be on the outside for a short run. We'll see how that turns out, though. Oh, I just want to race again. Longer than three fourths of a lap. Let us Hopefully we can make it green to the end now. I imagine nobody likes sitting around here Let waiting for the caution carbine. laps to be over, right? Like, there's got to be enough incentive to... Not because of more cautions. Maybe you'll be a little extra careful. Right? I would hope so. Let's try it again. See how we do on the outside. Ten to go, officially. Once we hit the line. Let's finish it out, boys. Yes, please. 
Shoot up. Come on. About to go green. Stay Dirty. Good. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Ten to go. This time by. Inside. Clear. Car inside. Still inside. Clear inside. This doesn't feel very good, to be honest. I don't know, I'm probably just not driving it right. Oh, something's going on up there. Can't really see. I'm going inside, 18 go. Thank you. You've just done it with 3.7. Figure out your round. Oh my god. Wrecking. That uh no. We're under caution. It's closed. His car is out. I just want to finish this race, man. I'm so sick of being here. What a shit show. Sorry if I held you up there, Bobby. It's <sighs> open. Let's see what everybody else does. I'm tempted to stay out. Still haven't done very many laps. Yeah, no one's going in. So we'll get into the green white checkers, exactly what I said I didn't want. Car 12, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Let us 12, car by, you had the position. We just got to get to the white flag. In this next run, get it over with, because we get three green white checkers in this series. My god, I do not want to do all three. How many people are even left to wreck? That's plenty. It's open. Still 18 people on the lead lap back there. So. Still plenty of people to be getting into these wrecks, I guess, but they really should stop. There's a green white checkered finish when the yellow checkered. Clear. Still not two to green. It's our favorite time of the night, boy. I hope I don't end up in a wreck. 
because of people driving crazy hard. I drive down here, maybe the track's cooler down here, so cool the tires a bit. I'm sure the tires aren't that bad though. It's been a rough one. I'm an okay other than that wall hit. That wall hit gave me a 2x too though. It was a pretty solid hit. I'm glad that it didn't hurt me more. Right now, we're under caution. Pits are closed. E6 is apparently where we're supposed to finish. It's where we are right now. Just gotta finish it off. Be on the outside of our row with the 11 behind us. Hermes back there in ninth on the inside row. Looks like second gear's been giving us pretty good starts, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. Well, I don't figure this practice produce this game this far. Yeah, people sure are wrecking, yeah, huh? It, it, it honestly is pretty normal for this show. Driver's not on track. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's that right there. I think that was the case of 22 getting in the wall again. Did it again? Yeah, it's like the third time. Huh. I'm lucky number. All right, let's end this thing, huh? Get ready, going green. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Two laps to go. Inside. We're gonna lose sixth. Clear. Oh, this race sucked. Good win, Rickard. That's it. We're done. There's the flag. Thank you. Good over. Good win. Nice run. Solid work. Good race. That race that sucked. Fun. Thanks. Good win. Good rig. But we get seventh. Not bad. Good <laughs> racing, John. We end up with 95, 97. Be fresh tires still. Probably should have stayed on the outside, I guess. We'll go back. Probably we'll could have held on to the eggs, but. I'm just glad the race is over. <laughs> Taking forever to remember. A thousand years ago, the start of this race. Oh, turn it down. All right, lap one. The 28 is going to try the high side, and big surprise, doesn't work. Can't do that. 
uh, Iowa. But then the leader self spins, so we got that immediate caution. Although I don't, I don't even know if that was what caused it, was it? Yeah, I guess it was. <clears throat> Nine's just gonna run into the back of the one. Twenty-eight. Running into the wall. Eighteen, finding the restart zone. Blinking a little bit. I guess it wasn't just me on the bumps. I mean, I, I knew it wasn't, but... They are brutal. Hermy, barely on the wall. Not really, though. There's a bunch of wall hits so far. Not much going on there. Three wide. That's kind of scary. Tough situation. Three wide there. Some more wall hits. Four drifts up into the 27. I think the 27 was a little low, though. He's a lap car, right? Yeah, he needs to be backing off anyway. There's no, there's no reason to be that far down the track next to a lead cap, lap guy, especially someone in second place. Got to give more room than that. That's weird. Why does the back of his car say Sadler when his last name is Sandler? That's weird. Doesn't iRacing put that on there automatically? Weird. Maybe he changed his name or something? Heck, maybe it's Elliot Sadler and he just wanted to go undercover. Right, driving with his brother Hermie here. So this is why we got the delayed green, I believe. I'm assuming. Nah, I think this was earlier in the race. Seeing it anyway. 27 just needs to park it. Like, if you can't drive around the track on your own, how are you going to keep yourself safe around other drivers, you know? I remember he caused an issue later, too. That didn't need to happen. He's closing the 32 didn't touch nothing when he spun and called that big wreck. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that 8 car was mad at me. If you go to my comp, I couldn't even see the 22 sideways when he checked up on him. Pretty solid wall hits. We're going to get our own wall here, here eventually. Come together there on the exit of the corner. Not much going on there. He just ran over the third car. Seven taps to the back of the 28. I'm surprised that caused damage. It really didn't seem like that big of a tap. Fifteen trying to get a run on my outside. I remember I left him the lane there. Yeah, he just drove right through the very car in the 22 then. Yeah, and he was driving through people sideways. Those up bumps. Up not letting people drive up there. We were in my race. I was up into the top 10 after wow. having me start at the rear. How did that wall hit end up with him flipping in the air? Oh, uh, I sent him toward the inside. He got loose on the outside of the gate. And I was on the inside coming at it too. I couldn't even see the 22 sideways. Oh, 20 got loose, I think. Spun the 10. Twenty eight drives it way too hard, slides up into the 20. That's why they were complaining about the 28, I guess. 
So it gets into the back of them again. I'm sure that they're just not giving each other any room just because they're frustrated with how everyone's being raced. Yeah, there. You can tell. Even yeah. if I hadn't known they were already going to wreck, you can tell it's going to be one eventually. I don't know. Can't stand people like that. I know that. Huh. Yeah, I think the 28 yeah, no, purposely drove fine. down right there to get his right rear. Unless he just. Unless he was just uh, too low on the track for some reason. They're not racing each other very cleanly, though, that's for sure. Now they're all on top of each other, running into each other. Twenty-seven hitting the wall in the straightaway. And here's the twenty-seven, way too far down the track, and this is the issue. I remember he caused again. All the spells for every car that week, and for the one month subscription. Yeah, 27 way too far down the track again. Just like he was earlier. And this time he wrecks the 15. And their car. And unfortunately the 9 caught up in it. Are you on? And then what is that? Like, why is he driving back up the track? Where is he going? That's so, inf that's so infuriating. It's like he Just let go of the wheel. Enough. Just drives it right back up to the track and then decides to park it whenever everybody's coming. And then something happens back here, too. I think the 12 came and got him. Intentionally, maybe. Yeah, the, 18, the 28 doing that. He's... It's not a clean driver. So the 12 being frustrated with that. I think the caution's out already at this point. No, it's not actually. Comes up and wrecks himself. That's not the best way to get revenge. You can see that turn to the right though. He was doing that on purpose. The one is, so just multiple dumb things happening at once here. It, it some other guy made it, so. he, 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 he might make some. Yikes. <laughs> he barely made it through that mess. Wow. That was some good navigation. Yeah, I believe Crawford builds, builds their B cars now, and then Tech the Merchant builds the A car in the truck. What a mess. Just so many things didn't need to happen there. At all. So moving along after that debacle, at 84, we got the wall. Ooh, and then he spun, oh my gosh. I'm sorry I had to show that. <laughs> Just bites him out of uh, two, really can break loose on you. It's one of those tracks where on exit it feels just fine and then all of a sudden you're sideways and it's too late. Happened before you know it. Oops, 30 comes up, it hits the wall. That sends them all out of sorts. Much going on here, but wall hits. Nothing there. All right, let's get to uh, some of these late cautions because you know they're coming. Here's what the two was apologizing for. I think he slid in front of him. Probably didn't know he was that close. He kind of did that to me a little bit, but I don't think it was as bad.
27 in more trouble. Coming up and hitting the wall, looks like. And the 15 all the way up the track next to him. I'm sure he didn't expect him to pull down so fast from hitting the wall, though. Some bumper hits into the pits. Ooh, and the 18 gets loose, and the 30 was just right there to uh, make a bad situation worse. Just wrong place, wrong time. And that'll be a caution. It's the one sliding in front of the three. Twenty two self spinning and the eight gets plowed from behind. I'm guessing it was a blind spot for the twenty three, the guy that was getting loose. Yeah, he's just perfectly behind him by the time he notices. So that's that's really unfortunate. By the time you can tell, it's already too late to get on the brakes well enough. And then we've got more trouble. This guy's... Wow, okay, yeah, we got plenty more people piling into this one. Oh, no. This was a messy one. Everybody just getting heavy damage. 27 still out here. 15 is going to intentionally wreck him. That's not really necessary, I don't think. I mean, never is. Like, what did the 27 even do to him? <laughs> like... I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out. Like, what did the did the fifteen like mistake him for somebody else? Did he wreck him multiple times? So there's one right there. Come on, man, really? You already did it. Like, it's childish one time, it's just babyish. <laughs> Beyond that, you're just regressing. 30, no idea where he plans on going except for the wall and into other people. Like, that's just completely unnecessary. There's some really bad driving going on in here. Glad I wasn't back in that. 26 turns down into the middle lane, well, three wide. Some rear endings. This is taking forever. Okay, now the 22. Really? This is why we're getting all these freaking cautions? Just people intentionally wrecking each other? <sighs> God, that's so annoying. That was absolutely intentional. Damaging people not related to it. What a garbage race. We got more intentional stuff going on. And it's different people all the time, too. It's like... Half the field's moldy. Well, the uh, 5 gets the win. Finally, it's over. We got P7. I'll take it. Just to get out of here. It smells bad in Iowa tonight, but... <laughs> I guess we'll get a solid finish. Tons of people just intent wrecking and just destroying the end of this race. Pretty gross, but it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get a better one next time. Thank you for watching this travesty. <laughs> uh, hopefully you get a better one next time, like I said, but for now, I'll see you later. Hope you have a good one.
and uh, see you next time.